We have been talking about how to rebuild our broken family values and how to improve our family lives. We learned that in a family, there is a father and a mother and children. There can be one child, two or three or four, or how many ever God has blessed your house with. The Bible says children are the rewards and precious gift from God in heaven. God wants our family to be happy and healthy. However, one of the things that breaks down our family is showing our anger. When we get frustrated and get angry, it can be very contagious. One person gets angry and it can quickly spread to the whole family. For example, you can play with your siblings and sometimes you have to share your favorite toys. It can be iPad or smartphones or video games or etc. Sometimes we fight over who gets to spend more time with our favorite toys. We get into arguments and fight. As a result, you can break your favorite toys. You might get angry and you fight with your siblings. Then your mom hears and then she gets angry. You know very well what happens when your mom gets angry. Yep, she becomes angry as mom. And when your mom gets mad and your dad comes home, he watches all these things that happen and he gets angry too. So he becomes angry dad. Anger is very contagious. So what can we do? One of the very simple and basic things that we should be able to do is open up and be able to say why you are frustrated and angry. We should be able to properly express and explain our feelings to others so others can understand why we are angry and frustrated. If we do not explain but just burst into anger, that is not going to help anyone. So perhaps over dinner time, when we all gather around a nice dinner table, you can open up a conversation as to why you were angry. And when others are talking, you need to listen to others and try to understand from their perspective. When that happens, you will feel better and your family can once again be a nice, healthy, and happy, godly family. So once again, when you get angry, learn to control your emotions and explain to your family why you are feeling the way you felt. That's it for this week. So long and have a wonderful summer.